Welcome to day 100 of our school year, the 100th day of school. Okay, let's go ahead and get down our beginning fraction. We have a total of 180 school days and we are in day 100. 80 days left. Now 100, that is even, so it is composite, because the only even number that's prime is 2. That means we need to do the prime factorization for both our denominator and our numerator. Just a reminder, our first five prime that we use, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Let's see, it ends in a zero, so I can do groups of five. I can get 30 fives out of 180. That leaves 30, so I can get six. Three plus six is nine, that's a multiple of three. I can get 10 groups of three out of 30, two groups of three out of six. It's even, so I could divide by two. It's even, so I could divide by 2. I get to 3. When I get to a prime number, I am done. This is even, so I could divide by 2. Half of 100 is 50. I could divide by 2. Half of 50 is 25. I could divide by 5. I get 5. 5 is prime, so I'm done. Let's get down our prime factorization. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. And here, 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Let's see what we have in common. We have 2 times 2, and we have a 5. 2 times 2 is 4 times 5 is 20. So our greatest common factor is 20, leaving a 5 in the numerator. And 3 times 3 are 9 in the denominator. So let's go ahead and make our groups of 20. Groups of 20 do not have to look like mine, but make sure you keep your shaded separated from your unshaded, and you definitely have 20 in each. Okay, so let's see how many total groups of 20 we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How many are shaded in? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so now that we've done our division with our model, let's go ahead and prove it with our algorithm. These always have to be the same because we didn't make different size groups, and they always have to be a common factor. So divided 180, and this side of the rectangle is 20, and then we have 100, and this side of the rectangle is 20. So 5 groups of 20 is 100. Numbers the same, 0 is a game. More on top, no need to stop. Numbers the same, 0 is a game. With the 80, and let's see, 4 times 20 is 80. Numbers the same, 0 is a game. Add these together, 5 plus 4 is 9. Okay, and then here, 5 times 20 or 20 nickels is 100 cents. Numbers the same, zero is the game. So we get 5. Now we need to still check with our inverse operation. Divisor times quotient plus remainder. Divisor times quotient plus remainder. Now since our remainder is zero for both, and the identity property of addition says when you add zero it stays the same, I don't need to add the zero. And here, instead of writing 9 times 20, and 5 times 20, I can use that commutative property to put the single digit as the multiplier. 
and it still is going to be the same. 9 groups of 0 is 0, 9 groups of 2 tens is 18 tens. 5 groups of 0 is 0, 5 groups of 2 tens is 10 tens. 100, that matches our dividend, so that checks. 180, that matches our dividend, so that checks. So our numerator is definitely 5, and our denominator is definitely 9. We have four ninths of the school year left, four groups of 20 days or 80 days left. All right, let's go ahead and fill in our data collection page. Okay, trimester two, week nine. Today is 1-29-2020. is the hundredth day of school, but that simplifies to five ninths. That is our fraction for today. We did groups of 20, so let's go ahead and get out our number line. And our groups of 20, we have four ninths already. We have to go all the way over here. And five ninths is our next line. We do have an equivalent fraction in the ninths. I'm sorry, in the tens, in the fives, in the fours, and in the twos, because two, four, five, and ten are all common factors. The twenty was our greatest common factor and gave us our equivalent fraction in lowest terms or our simplest form. Okay, let's go ahead and put our number line away, erase our worksheet, and thank you for joining me.